What's going on? Well guys, I had somebody on Facebook tell me I should quit because I had a problem. So, you know, it's been good. Uh, have fun. Good luck with all your, your adventures out there. Not. What kind of stupid ass advice is that? Oh, you had an issue. Might as well give up. No, no, no. That's not how this works. How in the hell would I be able to make a video like this saying, hey, get out there and do it if I give up as soon as I have an issue? We're all going to have issues. That's just the nature of this. We don't know how the hell it's even going to work until we put it up. It's going to be broken at some point. That's just how it goes. And if you're not going to be persistent enough to push through that, figure it out and make it happen, you are going to fail epically. So no, I won't be giving up. I don't know if that dude was just being a troll or what, but don't give anyone advice, okay, dude? So I was at home yesterday and I noticed the network was kind of sluggish. It worked okay, but it just wasn't very fast. Usually it's really snappy. Yesterday it wasn't, it was being kind of meh. So I hop in the backbone antennas and they look fine. Uh, not as stable as they usually are, but okay. Hop in the sector, it's fine. Hop in the antenna on my house, it's good to go. I even update my access point firmware because I'm like, maybe it's having a moment. I don't know. Nothing, still acting like garbage. So I started looking at the backbone antennas a bit more closely after posting on Facebook and everyone's kind of like, uh, that's not normal. And I noticed that there's a bunch of noise in my channel. You can see there's a whole bunch of noise there. When I first made the post on Facebook, it was just yellow and now it's like yellow and orange. So what I did was I started bumping down the spec or the uh, bandwidth because it's at 80 and it worked fine there before. Right up here, worked fine, no big deal, well, not no mo. So I bumped it down to 60 and then to 50 and eventually 40. And I moved the channel down to here, like that. There we go. And saving, saving, saving. And it keeps saying the best is over here. Uh, I don't see how this orange nonsense could be better than a little tiny bit of yellow. Uh, go home, ubiquity, you're drunk. But it being on a narrower bandwidth, of course, makes it slower. Like, a lot slower. It was doing a little better last night than that. Come on now. Yeah, that's kind of what it was doing. Anyway, makes it a lot slower, but it also makes it a lot more stable. You can see the, the data rate here. Um, that's supposed to be like up here. <laughs> uh, the bigger the bigger the number, the faster it is, but I'm also getting this. There's interference in the current operating channel. Best frequency, hint to, uh, oh yeah, whatever, I know that. The best frequency thing doesn't do anything. Narrow operating channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep bumping this down as an experiment to see if maybe I kick it down to like 20 if it'll go over here to where it's supposed to be. Because I'm thinking that maybe if I can get a nice clean channel, see it keeps trying to put me in DFS. DFS is the, uh, the radar range. And I don't want to use that because if radar kicks on, it'll kill my link and that's not good. Supposedly, if you use auto frequency, it'll pick the best, even if it's in DFS, and then if it gets kicked out or if a better spot pops up, it'll pop over there automatically. The issue that I'm having with that though is as you just saw, it was saying my best spot was over here a second ago with all the orange. So it's not really the, the smartest thing in the world right now, but it does say it's in beta. So, you know, we, we, we cut them some slack. Anyway, so now that I'm a nice narrow little beam down at 30, I should be able to fit in here where it's clean. And let's see what that does to our data rates. All right, so that's all saved. Let's see how stable it is. See, it's up to four now. Let's see how solid of a four. Ooh, six. Oh. And I think this is all due to aiming. Um, this thing is saying it should be negative 42. I don't think it's <laughs> I don't think that's actually possible, but you know, it it might be under optimum circumstances. This is the best I've been able to get it. 
I can't get it any better. And if anyone else can, come on out, I'll pay you to do it. Because I would love it to be better. I can't get it any better than that. So it looks like narrowing it actually made it faster. It's kind of what I was thinking might happen. Because it would be able to kick up the data rate more. Like it's supposed to be able to do. So that's, uh, that's intriguing. It's only at uh, 30 megahertz right now. So let's kick it down to 20 and see if it gets any better. I don't think it will this time, but we can give it a shot. See, and it's still saying go over there like a freaking moron. I, I don't want to go over there, stupid. So let's see if this does anything. That's all saved. Let's head back over, see what we're getting. I expect it to be slower, but more, but more stable. Uh, 69, 69, 69. Yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like happened. It's at a pretty steady 6x, so that's not bad, but 69 megs is pretty fail. I'd like as close to 100 as I could get. I mean, granted this would work, and stability is kind of, <laughs> kind of important. <laughs> but, yeah, because see, this looks like it's going to be more or less just rock steady. It's only 69 megs. Ugh. Okay, we're going to go back up to 30. Because that seemed to be kind of the sweet spot right now. There we go. That's back up and running. So we are at 103. That's, that's fine. I can deal with that. Come on. Come on. Pick up. There we go. Okay. And that should be plenty stable for now. Now I know that this is anything but good, and I'm trying to improve it, and it will be improved. But for now, it's better than it was, stability-wise. It's fast enough. I only have nine subscribers at the moment, two more than before. So for now, it's okay. And I have a theory about that noise down there where I was using that channel before, because I, I've been on that same channel since I installed these antennas. I mean, it's been up there at uh, roughly about 5820 since I started this. So that noise is relatively new. And it's noise at the relay. So I actually have a theory. I think all my CPE antennas pointing directly at the back of the relay um, backhaul antenna yeah, because I just installed two more subs, and this is when I noticed the problem. So it's like, as I get more and more people pointing at it, the more, the more of an issue it is. I really didn't think it'd be a big problem pointing at the back of the dish, but that's the only thing I can think of, because that's right in the same uh, frequency spot that all the CP antennas are at. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up. It's right at 5810, covering that 5820 spot. See, right here. On this side, see, same thing. So I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of like doxing myself. <laughs> this just dawned on me last night too, because I was looking at the RF environment on the antennas and I'm like, wait a minute, I wonder. And I'm wondering if there is a updated firmware for this thing because this is kind of the old school layout and the new one the new layout where you can just like go in and click the RF environment to choose your channels and stuff is super handy so I'm gonna update this because I'm pretty sure it needs an update all right I got that downloaded um, I always try to do this kind of thing in the morning before people get on the internet too much especially on weekends when people tend to sleep in and, you know, whatever. Uh, at least that's my thought process behind it. Because <laughs> it does make everything reboot. And I actually learned that the hard way. I updated, updated the firmware in one of the backbone antennas or something like that, and everything went down. I was like, oh shit. Uh, yeah, so don't do this when people are doing important things. Because the whole time it's doing this, it's useless and it can take a minute or two so 
I, I told my users and stuff, hey, I'm doing some stuff this morning. This is the last of it anyway. I'm done tinkering with stuff. I got the backhaul antenna relatively stable. Yeah, it's not dropping below 69 anymore. <laughs> Giggity. So that's good. It's even going up to 103. So 103 to 69, that's, that's fine. So it's at 4X to 6X. Better than it was. It was dropping down to like 1X. Ugh. It was very not good. Okay, we're back up and running. Yeah, we got the new firmware now. Yeah. There we go. So now I can go in here and do all kinds of fun things. If there's any of this stuff that you guys think I should turn on, let me know. Because I'm not familiar with what some of this shit is. Wireless network protection. This is apparently new. This feature protects the AirMax network against DAUTH attacks. AirMax ACA must be supported. Yeah, so I could turn that on. I don't know if it's necessary, but yeah, see, like it still does this the old way though. I don't like that. Yeah, we got a nice pretty one now. Uh, okay, you could like connect everybody. That'd be good. Uh, okay. Come on, guys, connect. Ooh, this is a good idea, or a good time, rather. I can see it's not looking, well, yeah, all the antennas are still pointed at it, so I guess it really doesn't make any difference. There we go, now we got some, maybe? <laughs> there we go, we got four. Where are my other five? Ew. Oh, that's just that one antenna. He's actually in a really good spot, too. That user. He's, like, up on a hill. The guy I just uh, hooked up today, he's got a killer spot, too. Everybody else can connect, whatever you'd like. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? See, this is why I hate doing updates. Yeah, you remember how that number there said nine a minute ago? I sure do. And I updated the firmware, and now half my damn subs can't connect. I can't put into words how annoying that is. Updates shouldn't break the network. They always do, but they shouldn't. There's no way to test firmware in this type of thing. In a server or computer environment, you would have a test or a QA or a dev environment or something like that where you could roll this out against your host and your images, and you'd see if it broke anything. I can't practice update the sector antenna. You just have to do it. Now that I did it, five of my subscribers can't reconnect. I've already messaged all the subscribers telling them that, hey, you know, reboot your antenna. One of them already did, and he hasn't reconnected yet either, so now I have to go run around everybody's houses. Exactly how I wanted to stream. So I figured out what the issue was. I was looking at the antennas and I noticed that the ones that were connected connected at a different frequency than all of them were connected to before. So I went in the radio's configuration page and noticed that for some reason it set the uh, frequency back to auto. Now why some of them connected at whatever frequency it was and others didn't connect to any frequency at all, I don't really know. They should have all negotiated all that and reconnected, but they didn't. So I turned the, the channel list thing on, the frequency list. I turned that on, went in and checked all of the frequencies that weren't DFS and hit save and poof, they all connected again. So I guess those five just really wanted to be on their old frequency and the sector antenna said, no, we're gonna be on these now. And four of them said, no, we're good, we'll, we'll change. Five said no. I don't know why, incredibly frustrating, but everyone's back up and happy and hunky-dory now. So all is right with the world. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for today. Um, I spent the last, God, freaking four hours doing this crap. Uh, got everything dialed in a bit. Got two new subscribers hooked up this weekend. Everything's chugging right along. Uh, next weekend, I'm going to try to get you guys a video of an install. I know you guys have wanted to see that. That's kind of a tricky thing to plan sometimes because 
sometimes they happen when I'm not available or sometimes they like this morning I had one this morning and I was out tweaking antennas and stuff so I'll try to make it happen for you guys but it's uh it is in the works I have seen the requests so for now until next time later